in this video we're gonna talk about chest x-ray interpretation and we will summarize the basics of chest x-ray interpretation and give some pathologic examples while assessing the image quality RIPE mnemonic is used where R stands for rotation I stands for inspiration P stands for position E stands for exposure first let's talk about rotation the clavicle should appear symmetrical and be seen as equal length the distance between the thoracic spinal process and clavicular heads should be equal if there is a rotation mediastinum may look abnormal here the x-ray shows minimal rotation compare x and y next inspiration to assess the degree of inspiration, it is conventional to count the ribs down to the diaphragm. The diaphragm should be intersected by the fifth to seventh inter anterior ribs. Anter sorry, anterior ribs. In the mid clavicular line, less is the sign of incomplete inspiration. Next, now position. Position can be posterior anterior, anterior posterior, lateral etc normal lateral chest x-ray view is obtained with the left chest against the caset if the x-ray is a true lateral the right ribs are larger due to magnification and usually projected posteriorly to the left ribs the right ribs represented by the red arrows and left ribs represented by the represented by the green arrows on the lateral chest x-ray on the ap film chest has a different appearance the heart and mediastinal uh, mediastinal shadow are magnified because of anterior structures mainly sternum this view is taken mostly at bedside as portable here the ap x-ray shows magnification of heart and widening of mediastinum next talking about exposure or penetration ideally you should be able to see the heart blood vessels and intervertebral spaces if the film is underexposed you will not be able to see them if the film is overexposed you are able to see all vertebral bodies uh, with obvious intervertebral spaces the interpretation of chest x-ray should be approached systematically. For chest x-ray, there is a classic schematic A, B, C, D, E and F. You should first check the patient's name and the date of film. You should also able uh, to check the uh, side marker uh, and you should check the film position. Finally, you should check the patient's position such as spine, erect, anterior, posterior, posterior, anterior, etc. The analysis is A for airways, B for bones, C for cardiac, D for diaphragm, E for extra thoracic tissues, F for fields and fissures. Now coming to the first airways. The red arrows represent the trachea, the green arrows represent the carina, the pink arrows represent the left and right main bronchus. The trachea, carina and both main bronchi are called the upper airway and should be visible on the AP view. Look for if there is any deviation of the trachea away from the midline. Introduction of air into the one side of the chest cavity will cause that side of the lung to collapse. The collapsed lung will push the trachea to the opposite side and resulting in a deviation that will uh, show up on the chest x-ray. Next, talking to the bone, bone structures on the posterior anterior chest x-ray are here represented by the, the red dashed lines and arrows or clavicle, yellow dashed lines and arrows or medial border of scapula, green dashed lines or, and arrows or third rib, pink dashed lines or vertebras. A chest x-ray provides a good view to look for ribs and clavicle fractures. Clavicular fractures are usually at the middle third of clavicle, which is easy to see in chest x-ray. 
rib fractures however can be sometimes be hard to see each rib should be followed across its length to look for fracture uh, fracture lines or uh, stuff offs that could indicate a fracture next talking about the heart heart borders on the anterior posterior chest x-ray uh, here uh, pink dashed lines and arrows represent the heart borders yellow dashed lines and arrows represent aortic arch uh, blue circle and arrows uh, represent uh, uh, aortopulmonary window the cardiac pod involves the heart and surrounding structures the silhouette of uh, the heart should be identified and the heart border should be clear as a general rule the heart base should not be wider than half the total width of the diaphragm if the heart base is uh, half the width of diaphragm on the chest x-ray it refers to cardiomegaly or pericardial effusion next talking about the diaphragm the view of diaphragm on the anterior posterior chest x-ray yellow dashed lines and arrows uh, represent a diaphragm red arrows represent a gastric air bubble pink dashed lines represent uh, costophrenic angles the outline of the diaphragm should be clear and smooth right hemi diagram should be higher than the left it has three major characteristics that can be found on the chest x-ray first is the uh, gastric air bubble on the left second is the diaphragmatic counter look like dome shape uh, right side located little higher than the left and third is the costophrenic angles uh, uh, which should be uh, pointed sharp and clear next talking about extra thoracic tissues mostly this means as the lung parenchyma lung fields can be divided into zones upper zone middle zone and lower zone upper zone from the apex of second coastal cartilage middle zone between second and fourth coastal cartilage and the lower zone between fourth and sixth coastal cartilage you should also check soft tissues outside the thorax for subcutaneous air foreign body uh, densities etc now coming to the last fields and fissures you should check lung fields for infiltrates identify the location of infiltrates and identify the pattern of infiltration whether it is interstitial or uh, alveolar pattern look for air bronchograms nodules etc pay attention to the apices you should also check for masses consolidation pneumothorax and vascular markings vessel should be almost invisible at the lung periphery finally you should evaluate the major and minor fissures for fluid collection